Hello, today I'm covering the recent news about Astar's upcoming hackathon sponsored by Toyota and what it could mean for Astar's future adoption in Japan. You might have come across this tweet from Sota Watanabe, where he made this major announcement about Toyota sponsoring Astar's first Web3 hackathon. Just to digress a little, I have noticed in the last couple of months, Sota has been very active on his Twitter, sharing many exciting news about non-stop development in Astar ecosystem. I very much love how he keeps Astar community updated and engaged. This is what you want to see from the founder of your favorite crypto project in a bear market. Of course, much more important is tireless building on Astar network, but no doubt this is also taking place. Back to Astar's Web3 Hackathon, Hackathon, sometimes called also CodeFest, is a kind of a social coding event where many computer programmers gather and collaborate on finishing a specific task, which is usually developing a functioning software by the end of the Hackathon. So there is a lot of networking, socializing and of course mainly software development that is targeted at solving some real-world issues. In case of this Astar's Web3 Hackathon, the event is sponsored by Toyota, let's quickly jump over to car industry. By 2021 automotive market share, Toyota is the largest automobile manufacturer in the world. Simply, Toyota sells the most cars in the world. Of course, Toyota is a Japanese company, so Sota probably utilized his connections and his networking skills to get Toyota on board with this Astar's hackathon. As I have mentioned, each hackathon has its own objective. During this Astar's hackathon, the goal for developers will be to develop intra-company DAO support tools that will be used by Toyota employees in the future. DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. In general, each DAO has defined its own specific rules using smart contracts deployed on the blockchain. The main idea of utilizing DAO in big companies is that it would enable a great amount of people to cooperate and make collective decisions in a more efficient and absolutely transparent way, which in turn would make managing these large organizations easier for managers. Every token holder of that particular DAO can participate in decision making and thus partially direct the future of the DAO to some degree. So a viable concept of a potential DAO product should ideally come out of this hackathon. It is planned this DAO will be used within Toyota company and later not only in Toyota but also to be potentially scaled and utilized in other Japanese companies. Needless to say, participants will be developing their products on a star network, so the winning project will be put into work in Toyota and used directly by Toyota managers. And since this winning DAO will be developed and deployed on Astar, we will have Astar with its EVM and WASM smart contracts compatibility nicely merging with Web2 World. So I really love this idea of Astar partnering with Toyota as their collaboration can serve as a nice example of how a crypto project with sound and future-oriented technology can naturally be adopted by large companies and corporations and help them operate even more efficiently. Here is the quote from Sota, during the event we aim to develop the first proof-of-concept DAO tool for Toyota's employees if a good tool is produced. Toyota employees will interact daily with products on a star network. This proof of concept might be new for some of us, as proof of concept are marked blockchain projects and tools that are focused on determining whether the idea has the potential in a real world situation, whether it's even viable. Sota also expressed his belief that at some point in the future, blockchain technology will be integrated into cars, so this collaboration with Toyota might be just the first step and it's really nice to see Astar Network being a true pioneer in this regard in crypto space. At the moment, Astar's blockchain is hosting 70 applications that have been developed in just 10 months since the network launched. Here are some insights into Astar's future plans. Sota sees Astar Network as the blockchain backed by Japan. So that would mean Astar as a public open blockchain would be at some point used as a development environment for tools used by state administration employees. Sure, this is still probably very far away, but it looks like Sota Watanabe exactly knows 
what he's going for. He clearly has a very bold vision for Astar Network, which includes adoption by large Japanese corporations, enterprises, and one day hopefully also Japanese government. And judging by his recent tweet, where he expressed this year he will be focusing on enterprises adoption and will strive to bring big enterprises to Astar and Polkadot, this year could really be a turning point for Astar Network, so we better be ready. That's it, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.